Hello, everybody. I'm sitting here with Enterprise E and Grime. Grime? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Grime. I'm going to start again. Hello, everybody. I'm sitting here with uh, Enterprise E and Grime, Kashar, Reject Tome, and Taza 101, and our Wacker Gamer. And um, I'm in a bit of a dev build thing right now. And the resolution looks good, I guess. I got a couple of things that I've been showing people on Instagram.com slash Mushroom Fleet plug. Basically, um, a couple of really, really low quality videos showing what you can do with the new rail system and the wireless and putting it all together. So what I've made here is, whoa, what I've made here is a boom. So um, it's a telescopic boom. I wanted to make a bridge that went really fast. That was my idea. I just wanted to make a bridge that went really fast. And it does work, but at the moment there was there's a bug which uh, causes something strange to happen. Um, okay, right, so if I just jump up here. All of these are stacked entities, I'll get into that. I'm just gonna walk over here. This is a bit like a crane cab. So what, what you do is you step on this. Oh god. Are me in the gravity of this? Yeah, I am. Right, so now I'm on the cab. I'm actually going to come out of gravity and use the ninja rope because I thought it, I found it to be more reliable. So you look at the thing you want to be attached to and press space. Okay. Um, I'll go through how this is hooked up, but effectively I've got <clears throat> the controls for the cab. So this rig that I'm attached to. So if I push R here, off it goes. You see? And you see it's quite slow. You know? And you want to make a, one, one of these is really long. And it's just going to take a while. So if I just tell it to go back. All these do is this button is attached to a wireless thing. The wireless thing is attached to the other button, which sets the entire rail to go that way. Okay, that's 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 the setup. Uh, there isn't actually textures yet. That's why you're seeing all these paint yellow arrows, but they're placeholder. Okay. So <clears throat> is this thing on? Hell yeah. So then the bottom is to actually activate the extender. Now the extender is a little bit more complicated, but actually it's really easy. So just to give you a quick demo, this is how it works. Less gas in more action. So we put that one on and then we put this one on and off we go. And if you see the speed at which this is moving, I mean, we're, we're going to be leaving pretty quick. And like if there's like speed enhancers or any kind of control over this, I mean, we're just using defaults. So I don't know, but very, very soon we're going to be really, really far away. <clears throat> Eventually, this thing's going to be fully extended, and I, I I couldn't tell you how long it is. I think that each piece is about fifty, and there's six pieces, so it's about three hundred meters. I think fully extended. I mean, if you look back now, I can see the whole shop, the station I was just at. Now, the problem I've had with this is that I seem to be not there anymore. But this is just a bug. Like I say, this is a dev build. Whenever you see stuff like this, I think I've just gone too far. <laughs> but if I actually keep going back, I actually use the jump command. So look at the station, press slash jump. <coughs> and then uh, come up here. So now I'm back at the station. The wireless controls do work, but when you're that far away at the moment, they don't. So what I have to do is I have to retract the arm from here. And as you can see, it's coming in. So I'm actually going to go over to here and uh, I need to get to the end of the rail. So as you can see, it's like there. It's moving in. It moves pretty slow. So I had this idea of the extender. And like I say, the i got to push this button. And uh, there you go. They all fully extend there. Oh, and they're retracted. But then I have to bring the car in. See, it was a bit annoying that. The fact that when they go, but like I say, it's just a little bug. It's just a little bug. All right. But I can show you that it does work by hitting this button again. And then immediately hitting that button again. It's going to send us back. <laughs> so oh, there out, you go. out it goes. And back it goes. 
I'm still moving right along this. And the idea is to give someone you could build a room around here so people get on and then they get to the other station way over there and you can hide all of this away. So then you've got like a super, if I just watch it, if I get off of it, hang on, it's attached to this. Hey, yeah, that's another thing as well, the masher. I'll have to show you the masher in a minute. Right. So if I just send this away now, so R and R and space and off it goes. It goes pretty good. And then, like I say, I could bring that back from here. And the logic's actually really easy. If you haven't, you should have noticed already, each piece is the same. That is an entity, this is an entity, and this is an entity, and the top one's an entity. And then that, so these are all the same. However, the top one for the cab is on a different side, so it's on its side. See, these rails are all on the top face, and these rails are all on the side face. <clears throat> and what's happening is, every time you push this button, it sets the bottom rail to go left. So if I just put the GUI on, just put the C, and you can see all the purple boxes, they're linked up to the wireless uh, controller. So each one of these wireless controllers so I've got one, two, three, four, V, 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 and then each of these is hooked up to this button. So there's V. It's hooked up to this button, which makes this rail go that way. And then, as you might have guessed, <clears throat> if you push C, these wireless blocks are linked. So when this button is pushed, it sets the rail to come back. And then each of these is hooked up to the other side. So I've hooked, I've, I've tried to make this so that it's as easy to, to explain as possible. But you push C on the wireless that's receiving the signal. So the way it works, like I say, the button gets pushed, sets the rail to that direction. As it is touching a rail that's facing that way, if I push C on the button, and then I push V on all the rails I want it to do that on, and then, like I say, continuing that action, press V on the wireless, and then take that signal to the other entity. You've got to be in astronaut mode to do the per, the end, you know, the cross entity linking. So you push C, and then you push V, and then you repeat it. So I had all of the left, you know, send it out, coming on this side. So you see. There's one, two, three, four wireless signals going out and four wireless signals coming in. So that explains how the extender works. Um, the only thing I didn't say is that the docker is there facing downwards with an orientation facing in its direction. I mean, if I was just to spawn one of them and show you that, that might help. So there you go. We'll just get one of those, and then so I could move them easily, I put a power and a thruster in, which you do not need. Not need. So, if I bring this extender over here, you can see they were originally much smaller, and I made them bigger in build mode. But that's all you have, and if you see the rail docker, the orientation of the ship, as you you can see the arrow at the top of the screen, so the orientation of the ship is forwards. And the orientation of the rail docker is facing down but forwards so then if the rail is facing <laughs> facing forwards <laughs> it's going to dock the correct way so at the moment if i docked it would actually face the other way that's something interesting um if you actually have something on the rail it'll face in the direction of the arrow so you can dock your cab backwards if you built it extended out and dock when it's retracted, your cab will be backwards. So <laughs> if you find that your uh, carriage is upside down, it's usually because you've got it in rather than out. And so then obviously it's facing the other way up. But anyway, <laughs> that's something I figured I found out when I was building all these. Um, I've tried to do it with the least amount of blocks that I could just to show the idea. Um, 
but I've done the exact same thing for the top rail which actually moves the passengers and you can style this however you want the only controls I thought you really needed for this one was for the actual cab to go left and right and then for it to tell that <coughs> to go out or in um, obviously the going out uh, uh, sending the cab along this rail is actually really is uh, pretty straightforward um, where am I there we are have we got problems oh yeah I'm still in build mode out we come so if I was uh, looking at the cab controls just here you can see they hook up to the wireless the wireless then sends to the rail okay um, and, and that will send it along if I got that right mm. <laughs> yeah that's right so the other thing which is a bit different was that I had to do it the other way around so this is actually sending it the other way every other time we've had the entity controlling from this end this way you have it the other way and this is the reason there are two here and that should be set to four so this one is coming from there see there's some under here this is how we control the extender from the cab so I've just pushed C and then V on this controller underneath and then V on out which is then controlling the button which does the exact same thing <laughs> I mean it's actually a really simple system um, and with it we can do stuff like this and it was really easy to do And that'll be like 203, I think it's like, I don't know, 300 meters away in a few seconds. Um, and it, all it was was that. That's all it was. So, <clears throat> the only other thing which I had to show was this. Everyone loves rotation. We love spinning things. And this here is a spinning thing. It's really simple. It just uses a rail rotator block with a rail dock. I used a bit of hole just to space it out. And uh, and then there's an activation block, which, if you put it at the bottom, sends a pulse, makes it rotate. See the linking there? It doesn't really need it, but we do the same with the button. <laughs> see this one has now stopped and off it goes so can we do that with all of them no no because that one's connected see you've got to connect them up and then they'll pulse indefinitely triple it up and you'll get extra speed on the rotation you could actually put another one on the end there so for example I could get this undock it and dock it onto this one no -ho! I don't think that actually is working so let's just fix that boop is that right? no that's not right that'll do <laughs> I swear wait a minute that is a rail turner. Blah 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 blah. Hello, General. Hello. I'm just doing a quick stream on some of this dev stuff. Yeah, Enterprise notified me. Oh. Thank you, Enterprise. And then there was one <laughs> thing left I had to show off here. The grinder. The grinder. <laughs> Or whatever it was. Oh, yes. no, 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 no. The don't grinder. Worry, uh, propellers. Don't worry. Oh yeah. Also, there's that too. I forgot about that. But no. Nah. Oh, what am I found? It looks safe. They should be okay. Oh, ah! <laughs> Famous last words. And what about you? Got to get in. I should be okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. 
I've got to get in there. No! Ah! Most annoying door! Yes! Be an annoying door. What happened was when I did this, I was in first person mode and I came up like this. I thought, oh, okay. And it just crushed my viewpoint. I can't get it to do it. Uh, it's not as shocking now it's happened. Oh well. Anyway, <coughs> we can make better grinders than this. Oh. Can take his legs off. Oh. That's maybe that's what happened. Oh god. You just suddenly have a wall come into your face. That sounds painful. I think it was I came up like that and went, "Ah! <laughs> what is it?" Where did it come from? And of course it was the twisty wall of doom. Which worked with blocks in the floor, but then we took them out. And uh, yeah, it didn't work when I turned it on. I found that. That was a couple of weird couple things. Of weird things. That was like I found I had to take that block out to make sure it didn't clip with the, with the floor, which never used to be a problem. So I'm guessing that they changed the way the collision detection is done. Don't know. But it does mean that a lot of things are now possible. So I'm going to move on to the next part now.